my name is Jack Hodgins, welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're doing an update on the hexacopter build. So far we have getting very close to um, putting, putting the flight controller on it. We've got the ECCs all mounted. As you can see, they're all soldered onto the plate itself. So all, all nicely done there. They're all soldered on the plate. And all we've got to do now is sort the motors out, solder the motors up to the ECs and then we can then start installing the flight controller. And guess what turned up today? The flight controller turned up today. So we got the um, DJI NASA uh, multi-rotor version two flight controller from DJI. So that's what we purchased uh, from there. So the guys that uh, I purchased this from, uh, first person's view down in Brighton. Cheers, thank you very much. Uh, that was purchased, ordered, and then sent set the next day delivery so it was very fast delivery so we're going to do an unboxing and then uh, uh then we'll then do a new new video on hex cop build where we actually do the full install with this um and then we'll get it all fired up and hopefully we'll get it to fly so it's still got a bit more to do on the hex but at least we've got the flight control now so let's take a look down here So, we have a bit. <clears throat> we have the NASA multi rotor version two uh, flight control bar. So, and it's obviously got near uh, the Prince, the game changer autopilot system from DJI. So, a tiny little box. So, it's not much to sort of really look into. I was expecting maybe a bigger box and stuff, but no. So, we've got the um, GPS. Okay, so we're looking at in a sec, but the actual bad boy here, which does all the work, we just tip it out, is the main flight controller, and that's the NASA box itself. So it's not very big; it's um, quite tiny. This is what's uh, in most of the Phantoms themselves, so it's sort of the same sort of controller. Um, I think this is the actual one, actually, in the Phantom Vision Plus. Uh, but not the one that's in the Phantom One. So um, this has quite a, a, a quite a lot of scope for programming. If I know it handles a lot of the quad, tricopters, hexacopters, so it can do quite a lot of motors on here in different configurations. Hence why why I purchased this one. It's 191 pounds. This is basically when you get the box. So you've got the the actual flight controller itself, and. Um, if you've got phantom guys out there, that's the phantom battery. And we can just compare that to the size so you can get an RF idea if, never, if you've never seen inside your phantom before. So that's sort of the size against the battery, sort of how, how big it is anyway. So, now in a box you get that, and then you get um, little packets, and inside there, here's, this is the, um, the PMU. So this is what provides the power to, to that little box once it's all plugged in, so we can just get this out. Lots of fiddly wires and stuff, because it's quite small and tiny, which is good, because there's not too much in the box. So there's the um, NASA PMU. So that obviously goes to the battery. That goes off to the um, NASA box, where it provides power. That plugs into uh, this little box as well, okay? And then you've got um, the GPS, um, Aerial that plugs into this side here, okay. So that's one bit, okay. So that's that, and then you've got the LEDs because obviously, on here, um, we've got no LEDs. This is an actual LED module. We're gonna pack it open. Oh, there you go. <clears throat> so, this will dangle off the this is where we'll um, strap this to the back of um, the hexcopter and this will flash different colors to sort of let us know the status of the aircraft, you know, we have battery low, uh, GPS lock and so forth. So um, that plugs nicely into, I think that, pl that plugs into this box here. I think it does. Um, well, it plugs into this box, but we'll work it out because this is the first time over at unboxing it, so that that's the that's the LEDs. Oh no, sorry, yeah, no, this plugs into this one here. There's um, 
uh, A, E, and T, and R it plugs into at the top uh, on the NASA box. So there you go. All right. So I'm learning this as I go, basically. So don't, if I'm wrong, don't comment below and correct me because I'm sort of picking this up. Um, so I will make mistakes. And then you're sort of, so you've got a bunch of cables here, which uh, um, if you don't have the um, the motors, the EC um, cables go from the ECC to your um, NASA box, then these are the cables you can use for it. Um, but I do have the um, cables already on, on my, um, as you can see, I do already have the cables on my uh, controllers. So they will just plug straight into like the, there you go, yeah. They'll just plug in like that basically to all the M1, M2, M3, right up to M6, because I have six motors uh, on this one here. So they're all plug in like that. It's very, we'll, work, we'll work that out when we fit it anyway. So I want to make this all this really nice and cable friendly and make it look nice and tidy. So we won't need to use these anyway. So, and then you have your USB cable, so you can um, program up the NASA, bot, NASA unit, which is there. I mean, you can buy the, the, the optional Bluetooth link, which connects to the NASA, which then I think allows you to connect Bluetooth to the software and configure it off the fly, I think, as far as I'm aware. So I'm still learning all these extra bits you can buy, but for the moment, I'll just get the flight controller in there, then we can look at, by, at adding all these extra bits uh, later date on there as well. So that's what's in the box and also now this is the GPS module which is I do believe is the aerial so if we open it up we have um, that's the bracket aerial where the GPS sits on. I already have one of these I have a it's a, it's a bigger one than this and it's sort of um, well it's longer uh, so it's down much more higher up off the aircraft so I'm not going to use the one that they came, came with it I'm going to use the one, I, one I've got because it is a lot taller um, and then here's the oh I'm going to open the actual GPS itself which plugs into the little um, PMU so it goes plugs in the side here it's all one way around and then that sits on the little bracket on top of your um, box. I have to be careful because there's a certain way this all plugs in. Um, I think there's a certain way this points points into the aircraft and obviously I've got to make sure this, I think it's that arrow there that tells me to make sure that's the front facing. Um, otherwise then you get all the compass because this is the DJI GPS and the compass. So I was wondering actually about that because the Phantom has a compass on the bottom leg and then has the um, GPS on top basically. But this, this actually has the compass and GPS all in one. So I wonder how they actually did that. Hence probably why that pointy arrow is pointing the direction, basically. So, so I was expecting another cable for the compass. I'm thinking, well, if I'm gonna put auto a landing gear on mine, so my landing gear folds up, it's gonna put the compass out because it's not gonna be in the same position straight down, is it? But no, that's all built into this one. So that's a bonus. So basically that that is what you get. So you've got, let me just move all this packaging out of the way one GPS stand, NASA, PMU, um, the LEDs, and I'll see spare cables if you don't have that for your ESCs and uh, GPS cable. All that you get for is £191. That's the same price on DG, DG, DJI's store. Uh, I did a various look at um, uh, eBay stores and they were, they're, again, they're all roughly around the same price. You did cook, you could buy this without the GPS, and it got a little bit cheaper. Then you still needed the GPS aerial. So I thought these things, if I buy it from um, a shop, then at least I then know that if there's any problems with it, it can be sent back under warranty, um, and we can get it dealt with. Because I really want to get this helicopter up and flying. Because I did say we'll get it up done for the next year. So when weather's good, we can take out the flying. So there we have it: the unboxing of the NASA Multirotor Version Two Flight Controller. So our next one will be doing a new video, actually having this installed on the Hexcopter. So check it out. Please remember, comment below. Uh, and so obviously, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you in the next one. And fly safe. Speak to you soon.